Um, I decided to join because uh, I was interested in really what the partnership had to offer and how, what it looked like. And I, th and I thought that like if we're going to be creating policy that at some point me as a farmer is going to have to follow, I wanted to be able to have a talking point in some of the decision making um, or thought process of all of it so it didn't come as a surprise when something came down the line. Um, and I think as well as agriculture, you know, as farmers right now, we are the backbone of the country and so really the food source and supply relies on us and so I think making sure that I understood uh, the industry as a whole both at a local level, a national level and an international level was important because I mean really we're the two percent of the world that feeds the rest of the 98 percent so feeling like it was my chance to get involved, uh, try to make a difference and understand what was coming down the line um, and also understand how we can work together to make this a more seamless transition or um, relationship as an industry on the international level and not just looking at it from a local level. I think it's important for the agriculture in our community because really, like I said, we're an industry as a whole. So everything that we do at both the local and regional and national levels and international levels is going to play a role in the other community in some way or another. Um, you know, we get a lot of our parts and new technologies from over here anyway. So, you know, the industry here in Germany is already playing a factor and a role into what we do in uh, our communities at home. So it only made sense to see the relationship at work and really try to strengthen what we have. Um, I think the industry as a whole, especially in our area, is struggling a little bit. So for me, I think some of the challenges we face is labor and just having a steady and reliable labor source. Um, and then the other one is like market volatility. I mean, in the U.S. right now, the market is ever changing. Um, Co-ops are not always the strongest uh, and, and most stable right now. So I think having an unsecure, a secure but an unstable market and place to secure shipment of milk to, um, and then a labor force that's ever changing and not always the most reliable is probably some of the biggest challenges that we face. So similarities, I mean, the obvious end goal is the same as to milk and harvest, to harvest milk, um, to use for other dairy products and stuff like that. So that's obviously like the broadest, easiest similarity to come across. Um, we've toured a lot of grazing farms here in Germany and in my area specifically, like it's really hard to graze, especially with the buffers and the waterways, safety nets that we need to have. Um, so we don't tend to do a lot of grazing. Our cows tend to be indoors, um, but also policy on like having to keep a calf that a bull calf for beef for a month, we can get rid of them at a day. The policy on antibiotic usage and vet relationships is much different. Um, so those have been some of the most surprising like differences that I've seen so far.